Muskie's on the attack, but Kevin Stevens lays out to take away the opportunity in front of the goal mouth. Then Tyler Fever, his time to shine. Jake Taylor looking for the goal, but Fever gets the glove on it to turn him away. Sam Gray goes outside on Zach MacArthur, uses his speed to get in close, but Tanner Davis closes the door. Then Peter Neal and Matt Davis playing some give and go. Davis scores five hole, make it one to nothing for the Fury. Now, four minutes later, they would strike again. The shot comes off the backboards, and Jack Lewis is right there to poke it home. And it is 2-0, but it's not that close of a game despite the 2-0 lead. Example A, right here, they're this close to making it a 2-1 game. JC Companion hitting the goalpost. In the third period, the Muskies would strike. It's Joel Wetmore collecting the loose puck, and he'll put it in 2-1. Less than a minute to go. This is Dean Klomp after winning the faceoff right there. Shoots it just over the crossbar. That close to going to overtime. Tyler Fever, great in this one. 37 saves. And Whitby, despite a lot of youngsters in this one, they certainly looked prepared for the postseason. The young guys knew what they were getting into. I mean, it's a total different game in playoffs, but everyone was trying to give them awareness and everything. It's a lot different game. Basically, uh, day one again, so everyone's making a name for themselves out there. Oh uh, well, we, we definitely knew Lindsay was going to be a challenge. We've had uh, a rivalry against them this whole season. It's been ups and downs, wins and losses. So we we're all prepared for it, and I knew we were going to win it. 